Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jessica and I love to do a lot of dollar store oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that sounds like your thing, you are definitely in the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You also turn on that bell notification, that way you don't miss a future upload. As always, like, comment, share this video with anyone you think may enjoy it. So I buy a lot of LA Colors makeup from the Dollar Tree and decided to see what they had at the Dollar General as far as LA Colors makeup. So I bought $22 worth of LA Colors makeup from Dollar General when I went. And so yeah, I'm super excited to try out the products and without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So I went ahead and applied my brows and I don't have a new product from the Dollar General. So I went ahead and used my LA Colors brow pencil from Dollar Tree in the shade medium. And I am gonna clean up my eyebrows. This is not a new product. You may have seen this on my channel before. I bought this last year at Dollar General. This is the LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer. This is in light. And I'll be using this to not only clean up my eyebrows but to also conceal later on. So if you are new to my channel, I love Dollar Tree makeup, but one thing, and LA Colors makes a lot of fabulous products that are in the dollar, now dollar twenty-five price point at Dollar Tree, but one thing that they do not shine in, in my opinion, is concealer. Now this concealer here is I think two or three dollars, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think Family Dollar also carries this concealer, and it is so much better than the concealer you can buy at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we're gonna dig into the palette that I purchased. So this is the LA Colors Color Vibe eyeshadow palette, and this is in rose, and this was $2, you guys. And they have a couple different color stories. So I'm gonna go all over my lid with this shade right here. I don't know that it's a, it's a matte as much as it's maybe a, a satin, and my brush is a little damp because I just cleaned it. And I sometimes find with some LA Colors eyeshadows, they can be a little hit or miss. And, but if they're a miss, there's really no need to worry. You just dampen your brush, even with mattes, and it helps them go on a little bit more pigmented. And really for the shade that is, that's actually, that's dropping down a little bit of color. It's just a very, very, very light pink, just kind of as a base. So we really don't need much more from that color than that. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Again, it's kind of a satin shade. It's and I'm just kind of laying this down kind of below the brow bone, mainly on the outer part of my eye, but I think I'm gonna start moving it inner a little bit because I'm gonna use something darker on the outside. So I'm gonna go to this shade right here on the end, I believe, actually it depends which one is darker. Okay, I lied. I'm actually gonna go into this shade right here. It's a little bit of darker. I just swatched it on my hand. This palette doesn't really have any like really dark shades, which you know me, I love like a really smoky eye, but we'll compensate with liner and lashes as well. I mean, that's not horrible. You know, for $2, you guys, like seriously. I think they had a more natural color story, so if you're not into like pinks or anything, they did have quite a few natural color palettes by LA Colors. They're not the most pigmented eyeshadows in the world, but they are blending really well. You know, they're really not going on patchy, and they are, they do seem to be very buildable. There's a mild amount of fallout, which, you know, happens. So I'm gonna go into the shimmers, and I did buy a setting spray. I believe I paid $4 for this. It's the LA Colors Matte Setting Spray. Comes in a really good sized bottle. And so yeah, I really, you know, you know me, I don't use this too much to set my makeup, but I do use it all the time to like wet my brushes, lay down shimmers, all that kind of thing. I'm gonna try a little bit of spray on my brush and just dampen my brush a little bit more. And I'm gonna go back into that darker pink shade, and I'm gonna go a little bit more into the, I'm gonna do a halo eye today. Dampening that brush really, really, really helped. Like I said, it was still, it was slightly damp from being cleaned, but the setting spray really does take it to another level. I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna go back into that more brownish shade and kind of lay that down with a little bit, being a little bit damp. Okay, now the fun part, I'm gonna lay down some shimmer. I'm gonna first go into this one here. It's a slightly more bold, shimmery color. Of course, I'm gonna put it on a flat brush and I'm going to spray, and I'm gonna put that all over the bottom part of my lid. That's really very vibrant. I'm gonna blend it a little bit more as well, but I'm gonna get it laid down first. Just take a big fluffy brush and just kinda then I'm gonna take that gold and kind of put that more towards the center 
Then I'm gonna put a little pop of the lighter gold, kind of in the direct center. Now finally, I'm gonna go into this lighter gold right here. Pop that on the centermost part of the lid. Of course, spray my brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend them just very, very, very lightly. So I'm gonna move on and we'll come back to the eyes as we always do. And I'm gonna try this new mascara. It's the LA Colors X Volume Mascara. And again, if you are not new to my channel, you know the LA Colors mascara is from the Dollar Tree usually leave a lot to be desired. So I wanted to give this a try. So this is the brush it comes on if you missed my haul. And I'm gonna go on in and it's so much easier for me if I use a small mirror for this type of thing. See if the LA Colors mascara works any better if you spend a little bit more money. In a recent video, I showed you my like favorite drugstore products. And I really have been loving Essence False Lash Effect Mascara. It's really good and really cheap. I think it's like four or five bucks. I'm gonna try putting a couple coats of this on. And this doesn't seem to be too, too bad, but still as of right now, as I sit here, I have about two coats on. For the money, for an extra dollar or two, I still think I'd rather have the Essence. So for eyeliner, I'm super excited about this. This is the LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner, and this is $2. And what's really cool about this, I think it's Ioni that has a similar product. It's, it looks like a wand liquid liner, but it's actually a felt tip. And when I swatched this in my haul video, it gave the blackest, thinnest line. It seems amazing. I'm so excited to use this. that you just have like the ultimate control with this. It's really black, really, really easy to control, doesn't skip. I like the LA Colors felt pen, but I think this, you're able to get a little bit of a thinner line with this if you so choose. That is a really, really, really great eyeliner, especially for $2. So now for lashes, I have actually had these for quite some time. I bought these at Dollar General probably about two years ago and never used them. It's from the brand Broadway Eyes and it says they're 100% human hair. They're lightweight and reusable. These are in the style sassy and I just haven't ever gotten around to using them. They look very comparable to like a um, an Ardell and I can't remember how much I paid for these but I wanna say I paid $2. $3 would have been the most. So I'm gonna pop these on and I will be right back. Okay, lashes are on, glue is not yet dry, but I love these. I did not trim them. I probably could have a little bit, but really I can get away with not trimming them, I feel. Really, really nice, really lightweight. Like I said, they feel like an Ardell or a Salon Perfect. So very, very, very nice lashes. So we're gonna move on to foundation. Again, you know how I feel about a lot of LA Colors like face products, not blushes and bronzers and all that kind of thing, but like concealers foundations, but they had this. Now I do have an LA Colors matte foundation, but this is this looks different. This is, of course it comes in a jar. This is called the Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. This is in the shade Nude and I wanted to give it a try. I don't know how this color is necessarily for me. I do always try to favor on the lighter side if I can. I'm just hoping it's kind of like the right tone. So it's blending really nice and easy. It's got a really a good amount of coverage. Let me read my receipt, see how much I paid for this. It's, it's $4, so if this is really good, you know, now the Believe Beauty Foundation at the Dollar General is, I believe it's $4.50. If it's not $4.50, it's $5. But this has some big shoes to fill, so, because that stuff is amazing. It's like high end, in my opinion. I know a lot of people here on YouTube really love it. Yeah, you know, I really like it. Um, I don't like it better than the Believe. I would still buy the Believe over this, but this will definitely, I'm sure, be my favorite LA Colors foundation that I've tried. Because pretty much everything at the Dollar Tree is kind of a flop for me, like the liquid makeup. Although I can usually get a nice result with it. It's definitely not my favorite. But yeah, I would say that's really nice. It definitely has some good coverage. I'm going back in with that concealer. So I did not purchase a blush, but at the Dollar Tree some time ago, I did pick up this LA Colors makeup stick. It's a three-in-one product. This is in the shade Pink Satin, and it says you can use it for a lipstick, blush, or an eyeshadow. So we're gonna give this a try for blush. 
Um, but before I do that, I am gonna do bronzer first. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So I did find this LA Colors Shimmer Bronzer. This is in the shade Radiant, and it is so pretty. Look at that. So I'm just gonna swirl into this, and the shimmer part is completely gone. Where did it go? It's not coming back either. Well, okay, well I got a matte bronzer. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. I kind of, am I imagining the shimmer part? That's one of those moments where like you literally think like, have, have I finally, has it happened? By it, I mean, have like, have I finally lost it? Now we'll say the color is really, really, really nice and it's, um, it is matte. <laughs> I do love the shade though. I mean, that's not a fail. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into this blush stick. Can't really remember what other shades they have at the Dollar Tree of this, or if they do, um, but it's one of those products I've passed over for years, just never was interested in trying it, and I was like, I probably really should try it, <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna apply it the way I normally apply like a cream blush. I'm actually gonna take a stippling brush I'm just gonna kind of go like this with the product. I know this kind of probably seems very um, not right, but that's what I'm gonna do. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. That's really pretty though. Might be taking off some of my makeup, so I'm gonna stipple it more so than rub it. That's really very pretty though. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Here, I haven't really swatched it for you, but this is kind of what the swatched color looks like. It's a little bit like fuchsia, Esque, and it's got like a little hint of like a blue undertone in it and it's got a little bit of shimmer so that's really pretty I mean I don't hate it I don't hate it at all so I'm gonna use highlighter then I'm gonna use the setting powder that I bought and this is something that I've had for a while I just don't know that I've ever really used it a whole lot on my channel but it's this LA Colors liquid shimmer highlighter this is an angelic glow and it's just, it's a liquid highlighter, very similar to like the Benefit High Beam. And I'm actually gonna use the same stippling brush, but I'm gonna clean it off first. So I'm gonna try to go light-handed because I can tend to be a little heavy-handed with these types of products. That is beautiful. Now I have, I still have some Benefit High Beam and I've used it for years. That was like one of my like, first high-end makeup purchases. And honestly, this right here is, it's like the same thing, like seriously. Back when I used to buy that, I it, there really wasn't too many other products that were like that, you know, especially at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, there's just no need to spend that kind of money anymore. And I remember way back in the day, the first time I ever tried like a highlighter at all, it was, um, tell me if you remember this, Revlon Skin Lights. Am I thinking of that right? Came in this like little pump bottle. They had like a gold, they had pink, they had like a champagne. I had a couple of them and I was obsessed cause like it was kind of around the time but probably a little bit before like JLo had that, that JLo glow thing going on. Probably back, it was probably back before Selena. Yeah, that it was right around the time the Selena movie came out. I can't really remember but that was like my first introduction to like highlighters. But I'm really loving the effect. I, I don't know how it's coming across on camera but like in person it's really glowy. The bronzer is, is a beautiful color. So I'm really, really liking it so far. So I did find a loose powder by LA Colors. This is in the shade Light, and it comes in this really, really big container. I think I paid $2 for this, 2 or $3. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like bake under my eyes a little bit. So now it does come with a puff. It's kind of like a little, um, like a styrofoam kind of puff. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the puff, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and bake under my eyes. I'm getting it all over me, you guys. <laughs> T-zone, I was really liking the glowy thing I had going on. I don't know if this is gonna get, like ruin it or not, but, ooh, now that gives, that is like a really, really nice finish. It's not really, it's not powdery, it's very fine, not cakey. That's a really, really, really nice powder. Definitely not bad for the dollar store. <laughs> I do kind of miss some of the little bit of glow I had going on, but that really did give it like a very airbrushed finish, so I'm definitely not complaining. And in retrospect, I mean, the puff is okay, but honestly, I should have just used my Real Techniques powder sponge, just just because I have it and I love it. So we're gonna go back into the eyeshadow, finish up the eyes, and move on to the lips. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here and go underneath my brow bone. 
That's a really pretty under the brow bone shade. It's light enough, yet not too, too light. So before I move on with the eyeshadow, I do have a pencil liner that I am super excited to use because when I swatched it, it seems amazing. It's the LA Colors Gel Liner. This is in Midnight Black, and I am so excited about this. I'm gonna put it in my waterline. Wow, like I said in my Dollar General haul, I have been obsessing over the Ioni liner and it's amazing, but this right here, just as good, if not better. And I'm sure it's more readily available. I went to Family Dollar the other day and I can't remember if I saw this there. There is a haul coming, um, I did, did film a haul. And I can't remember if I saw this there or not, but this is definitely something you can find at your Dollar General, possibly your Family Dollar as well. So way more readily available, I always mess up my I always mess up my left eye. But yeah, that is super creamy, so easy in the waterline. And it was $2, so really very cheap. So under my eye, I'm first gonna go with that shade right there. And I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pink as well. And I'm gonna go in with that shade right there just to add a little bit of a pop of color. And lastly for the eyes, I'm gonna go into the inner corner with that lighter kind of gold shade that we did. I also popped a little bit of that in the inner corner as well. So now lips, and I'm gonna just go ahead and use that all-in-one stick by LA Colors and just see how it does as a lipstick because it does say lips, eyes, and cheeks. I think that's a really beautiful, beautiful lip color. It's, it's very natural, but it does have a little hint of coarse color, a little hint of shimmer. And yeah, I, I really, really, I really like it. I'm gonna see if they have more shades of this because I just simply cannot remember. So quick rundown of all of the new products from the Dollar General. So the first one's kind of a fail because I really don't feel it's worth the $3 that I paid when I can pay an extra couple dollars and get Essence. Or I can spend $1.25 and get one at the Dollar Tree. This LA Colors Volume X Mascara. Just not really worth $3. Like I said, I'd rather spend a little bit more and get Essence. Spend a little less and get something at the Dollar Tree. The $3 price range. Just don't really think it's worth $3. It's just not that good. It's not $2 better than Dollar Tree. So yeah, this was kind of a fail. I had higher hopes, kinda. I'm always hopeful. But yeah, that was probably the least remarkable product that I've tried today. I think everything else was a major win and a really great value and great product for the money especially. First of all, the eyelashes that I've been holding on to for a while, like I said, for two or three dollars, however much I paid, they are like an Ardell or a Salon Perfect. And yeah, the style, they get some different styles. They have some more natural. These ones here are kind of somewhere in the middle. They're dramatic, but they're also natural enough. So really nice lashes. Like I said, I haven't really much cared for like the Believe Beauty lashes, but I do love my Dollar Tree lashes. I love my Ardell's and these ones here are right up there with those for me. The gel eyeliner, run, do not walk to the Dollar General. If you have been wanting a good eyeliner for very little money, and you can't find the Ioni because it's so good and it's, it is hard to come by, I'm sure this is a lot easier to find. It's the LA Colors Gel Liner, and like I said, it's $2. As good, if not better than anything I've ever used from the drugstore. So definitely an amazing, amazing, amazing gem at the Dollar General. The foundation, as far as LA Colors makeup goes, this is definitely one of the better foundations I've used. I think I like it even better than their Dollar Tree version of the matte. I do believe this is a different foundation. And yeah, it comes in a nice pump bottle. Who can argue with the bottle? Um, they have, you know, their color selection isn't the best at Dollar General. I don't know if they sell this on their website with more color choices, but a nice foundation if you go to the Dollar General like I said, $4. I probably still personally would spend the extra 50 cents or a dollar for the Believe Beauty. I do think it's that much better. But if you can't find the Believe Beauty at your Dollar General, you know, if it's picked through and or you can't find your shade, this is a very good second choice for sure. The liquid eyeliner is amazing. It really very thin, very black. You can get it as dramatic or as natural as you want. An amazing eyeliner for, like I said, I think two bucks. Super awesome, awesome, good eyeliner. I would say that this might have bumped my 
wet n wild breakup proof eyeliner out of the water so yeah this and I like it better than the LA colors pen from the Dollar Tree that I've been using recently this is amazing and I think this one here is even better than the Ioni I think this one has a little bit more control I think the brush is a little softer so you have a little bit more control with it amazing setting spray you know like I said I really just kind of use it for my wetting my brushes and that kind of thing but really a very nice setting spray like I said I can't really attest to what it does for your makeup because I don't really wear setting sprays that way and when I do I don't really notice a difference I personally just don't notice the difference, but yeah, definitely a nice setting spray if you're looking for one that's affordable. Then this from the Dollar Tree, I really like it. I think the color is beautiful. Swipe it on your eyes for a one and done. Put it on your cheeks for some blush. Put it on your lips and kind of get a monochromatic, fresh, natural look. I'll be excited to try it like that someday. Want to see if they have more colors. For $1.25, that's an amazing product. Got it on my lips and on my cheeks. And yeah, I just think that's a really nice product and I've passed it over time and time again. So glad I finally gave it a try. The loose powder, very, very nice. Again, I think it was $2, and it, it, it wears like a high-end powder. It's it's wonderful for baking, has a very natural look. I don't know if there's any flashback at all, but just a, a beautiful, beautiful finish. So love, love, love this powder, and it's such a super deal. Then the shimmer bronzer, love the shade. Absolutely love, love, love the shade, but the shimmer completely went away when I ran my brush in it. So <laughs> it's not really a shimmer bronzer, but it is a really, really nice matte bronzer. The color is perfect for my skin tone, which is in Radiant. I like the packaging. Rimmel makes powders that come in packaging like this, or at least they used to. So yeah, a really nice bronzer, but that was kind of weird with just the shimmer going away. But like I said, I'm not mad about it. And really, really nice color, I feel. And last but certainly not least is the eyeshadow palette for $2, and this is the Rosy. Not the most pigmented in the world, but definitely buildable, and of course if you wet your brush or dampen your brush, you can get a little bit more pigment. The shimmers are definitely a whole lot better, but you know, as you can see, I mean, I, I got a color, I got some vibrant pink and some gold on my eyes. So like I said, it's not the most pigmented, but buildable, so you can build them up to be more intense by just layering them or wetting the brush. And you know, just a really pretty color story. Like they've got some other shades that are more on the natural side. At least my Dollar General had one other color story. I think there's more than one though. So I'd, I'd definitely be interested in seeing the other color stories, but a cute little palette for $2. So yeah, I'm really happy with the look that I got and very excited to have tried a new palette from them. So I'm gonna place some other content up here on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out these videos. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with anybody you think may enjoy it, and comment down below if you've used any of these products here from your local Dollar General. Let me know what you've tried and what you've thought about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.